Hey guys, Avran here. You you can't make this shit up. This is just life. Listen, I was um, I was doing a video recently about. Uh, well, as you may know, I'm running out of space, uh, disk space in my laptop, and uh, I was thinking about how to solve this issue, and I decided to go with. Uh, let's say external solution i don't want to be paying for cloud for like forever and i was like i need to be able to back up my data all my files somewhere like in-house obviously i don't want to pay for like a lot of hard drives because they're expensive and um a few of them failed on me and I lost all the footage. So I was thinking about like what else I can use for uh, like uh, uh, data backups. And uh, the solution is fairly easy. Um, Blu-rays, obviously. So I started doing a little bit of research on uh, Blu-rays, burners, uh, discs, etc. And um, I made the decision to go with uh, Verbatim. For the start, uh, I'm going to probably get uh, 25 gig disks uh, because I can get 50 of them for like 36 euros, which is not bad at all. And uh, that's over a terabyte of space for that price. So. 36 euros for uh, like 1200 gigabytes is not bad. Um, obviously, I can do. I, I can save time if I'm going to uh, burn it on 100 gig disks, but uh, they are a little bit more expensive. But because I'm using uh, Zephyrus Duo which is an amazing workstation, but unfortunately it does not have uh, not only like uh, I need to be using uh, this for memory cards because it doesn't have a card reader. It also does not have a, a burner and not only burner and a reader. There is no this mechanic in the laptop because it has two screens, right? So I needed to buy an external one and I went to a local shop, like an uh, electronics store, a uh, big retail online store in my country, uh, Alza. And I searched for Blu-ray burners and uh, there was a slight confusion on my side and I'm not uh, like I, I, I do understand technology. I am not like uh, anti-talent for technology, but when I was trying to read through the specs, I was clueless. I was lost. I had no idea which one of those should I buy. There were basically three different models. Each one of them was around like 100 and five to 111 euros they all had the very same write and uh, read speeds uh, but basically one of them said it can read it can read 4k uh, blu-rays the other two didn't say nothing about it one of them said that it can uh, work with m disk which is a special like verbatim proprietary uh, spec or how do I call it and uh, I was like how the hell I'm going to choose which one is the very best for me I tried going through the reviews uh, no luck user reviews were utterly useless I was like all right let's go through the YouTube, I'm going to find compressing uh, reviews, they're gonna help me. Mm -mm, no way. I went through the YouTube, there is almost 
no reviews for the Blu-ray burners. Obviously, they're not like hot commodity. I was like, okay, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to go through the Verbatim site. Uh, trying to find it on the manufacturer's site is usually a pain in the ass, but whatever. It's my last, last choice. I'm gonna read through like a bunch of uh, PDFs or whatever and I'm going to find the answer. I didn't. Because the, the online retailer had basically translated the uh, like spec sheets from German to Slovak. That's it. The confusion started from the Verbatim site and I was like... I cannot believe I have to deal with this like... Any other of my friends would have just eeny meeny miny mo picked one of those and bought it and I'm like just spending hours picking up a stupid Blu-ray burner like what the hell I'm doing with my life. So there's only one logical conclusion to this. I'm going to I'm not going to pick one of those. I'm going to call Verbatim and like ask their technical support to explain to me what the fuck is different between all these three models in their terms and uh, ask them a bunch of questions and trying to figure out which one of those should I choose. And that's exactly what I did. I called to the Germany and asked their technical support like this is my conundrum, explain. And they did. So, the uh, there are three model numbers, and I'm going to uh, just find them because I don't remember them all. There are basically three model numbers in the burners. It's four three triple eight, four three double eight nine, and four three eight nine zero. The 4388, the, let's say, the oldest uh, model number is the 4K1 with a USB-C. The 4389 and the 43890, none of those support 4K Blu-rays. Uh, reading. I'm like... No idea why the oldest one does and the new one doesn't, but uh, whatever. Obviously, uh, the one thing I was very um, like uh, curious about is the M disc because uh, it's a marketing material, right? But they say that M disc can. Uh, last for like a thousand years. Um, no way I'm going to live a thousand years. I don't believe they will last for a hundred years, but whatever. If they last for just 50 years, that's going to be way more than I'm ever going to need regarding the backup. So I needed uh, the burner to be M-Disc uh, compatible. And uh, in the website, only one of them had the MDisc logo on the box. And it was the uh, 43890. Well, surprise, surprise, when I called the support, I was told all three of them support MDisc. Even though only one of them advertised this that uh, on the box. Okay, so that already looks like a win for the 4388. But what's the other difference between them? Because like there are three models and you just told me two differences. And he was like, uh, yeah, the other difference is that the 43289 uh, uh, and the uh, 43890, they uh, 
not only they don't uh, play the sorry uh, don't only they not only they don't play 4k but there's also a difference in uh, power supply because uh, the 4388 and 43890 they are powered through the USB C while uh, 43888 is uh, USB C straight uh, from the box and 43890 is uh, USB A with a USB C uh, adapter which is already like I'm not reading this, I just have a picture in front of me, like, you can uh, take a look. Right. I'm not reading the specs, I'm, I just have a picture in front of me, so I know what I'm supposed to be talking about. The 43889 is uh, powered through USB-Y. Uh, that means it has two USB connectors, two USB-A, or an external power supply. So that's another difference that was somewhat mentioned in the specs, but not really. Well, at least not in a way that was uh, like really obvious that it, this is the reason why it's three different models. So... Basically, it boils, boils down to this. Uh, the 43888 is uh, 4K with USB-C. 43890 is uh, uh, USB-C with USB-A connector with USB-C uh, adapter. But it is powered only through one USB. And 43889 is uh, USB Y that means two USB A's or external power supply, and all three of them support M disk. Yeah, and I had to spend like four hours to figure this out and call Germany. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I I just I just really want to know my stuff inside out, left and right, like everything I can know before I'm doing a purchase even for a stupid hundred euros like yeah that's my life whatever I don't care um, now I can do a video about this so whatever so <laughs> thanks a lot for watching today's video and uh, my new blu-ray burner should arrive on Thursday that's in two days and um, I'm going to use it over the weekend I'm going to burn a few DVDs. Uh, I'm going to have one free Blu-ray disc with it. Um, not going to use it yet. I'm going to wait for other ones to back up my files because 125 gig disc is not going to help me too much. But it's on a way it's going to be a great way to store not only finished projects, uh, that means renders, but also the raw files and also all the support files like uh, motion graphics, uh, background graphics, overlays, music, sound effects, stuff like that, but also project files. So I can back up everything from start to finish on, on every important project, not obviously every project, but every important project can be now stored in a physical media that is not going to degrade over time that is not going to be prone to any damage or or anything like uh, magnetic fields and stuff like that just a little small box of uh, discs in plastic in a, a closet amazing how is how amazing is that we have a hundred gigabytes disks to store our files there basically forever yeah 
that's for today's video guys thanks a lot for watching i hope i didn't bore you to death and well see you tomorrow cheers Bye.